Greetings everyone and welcome to my 100% blind playthrough of Mustang and Ultraviolence. This map was made as admitted by Martin Kunk. Okay, submission number 6. This one is called Mustin. Let's have a look. It appears we have some kind of village. Pretty cute. I'll grab this, if you don't mind. Ah oh, yeah, this is very cute. A comfy demon riddled village. I like. I saw some green armor as well. I wouldn't mind having that. Thank you very much. Alright, so far pretty cute. Let's see, I wanna explore these buildings. What's in here? A bed? Uh-huh. Can I sleep in the bed? I cannot. Anything in here? No. This switch does something? I didn't check if this door was already open or not. Probably was closed. Any secrets? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, then uh, let's move on. Down we go. Oh, we're not in a village anymore. This is some kind of uh, underground complex. Okay, this switches for the lifts. There's also a lift going down. I saw a backpack. I would like to have that. Please and thank you. Can I grab that? See a super shotgun as well. In that cage. Oh, I was about to say. I'm stuck here, but no, there's a switch here. Okay. Interesting method of uh, getting unstuck. Just lower one of the steps. That's uh, well thought of. Also, a teleporter. Where does the teleporter bring me? Oh, there's a Losolva above me, I think. Something is blocking me. Or maybe it's a corpse. A hanging corpse, maybe. Oh, yeah, there's a hanging uh, torso. Uh-oh. I think this was tested in GZ Doom, or maybe they just used the wrong um, thing for the hanging legs. You also have a non-solid one. Yeah, you need a red key for this. I'm quite curious about the teleporter. Is this the backpack teleporter? No? Oh, even better. It's the super shotgun teleporter. Nice. Let me see. Any secrets here? No. Okay, how do I grab the backpack? It's not a secret. We got a chainsaw. I will grab it in case it triggers something, but it doesn't. There's a candle here, but it's not a secret. The map is introducing the revenants already. Alright. Where do we go? Through the door? Sure. Ooh, barrels. This is very Doom 1-y. Is, is, is that a thing? Doom 1-y? It's like very Doom 1. Like, this is... This could be like something from E2M7. That's pretty neat. E2M7 with chain gunners. Here's the red key. I know where to use that. Also, Sujo Eye. Oh my god. I've got a feeling there's a secret here somewhere. Sigil Eye reveals no secrets. Red key is maybe booby trapped. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, spoke too soon. But it's just two hell nobles, a specter. No biggie. No biggie, the scene says, as he nearly gets hit by a green projectile. Also, my ammo is running quite low. Box of shells. 
I don't think there's anything here. Oh. Okay, so we go back, but first I want to check out what's over here. I see a barrel. Very nice. Ah. Box of shells, box of rockets, but no rocket launcher yet. Oh, anyway. Oh, I think I know how to get the backpack. I have to make a jump. Yeah, I think that's it. So, let's lower this. And then jump down. And grab the backpack. Yeah, just like this. There we go. I uh, don't have a blue key, so I will not go to the blue door. What's over here? Akako! These candles are throwing me off. I keep thinking there's a secret, but no, this is just how uh, the map maker decorates their maps, I guess. Nice, um, tasteful usage of start then. I appreciate it. With D running, playing in the background. Oh. This is pure soul. I hear demons down there. Uh, I may as well grab the partial invisibility. Why not? Alright, let's see. Who is down here? Spectre? Ooh, Spectres. Oh, and a meatball. <laughs> I tried to block the lost soul getting spawned, but because of the invisibility, the lost soul spawned next to me instead of inside me. That's funny. Okay, this opens the door. Get a sleepy hell knight. And... Oh! Um... Did I miss the rocket launch somewhere, or... Am I supposed to super shotgun these guys, or chain gun them? Well, I don't mind, but... I'm questioning my progress now. Also, I am... I have the blur sphere, so I may run into projectiles. Gotta be careful. Okay. Power down expired. This Baron got stuck. Thank you, comp level 2. Okay. Um, so what did I what did I do exactly? I didn't. Oh, what's this? Oh, a secret. Interesting. Oh, I see. This wall is different. Ah, that's clever. I didn't even see that. So, yeah, what did I do? I jumped down. I pressed the switch. Opened this door. I went up this door. There's nothing here. Maybe I have to go back. Ah, these... Uh, these steps. Did I see these before? I'm not sure, but let's go for the jump. Uh, I am... I, I cannot climb this. Um, I went through this. There's gotta be a blue key somewhere. And it's... Not over there. I'm missing something here. Something... Blue key... something. Hmm. I'm a bit afraid now. I tend to think that I soft-locked the map. And I'm playing stuff blind like this. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. There's the blue key. You know, like in uh, Stellar, 
um, depopulation. It was apparently a boom map instead of Doom 2. But in this case, so far, everything seems to work as it should. Except I'm still missing a rocket launcher. I, I think it was a secret rocket launcher. That I missed. Or maybe the rocket launcher is here. But I need a yellow key for this. Or, no, never mind. Or, oh. Uh, is there anything I missed? Let's see. Trying to orient myself a bit. Okay, there's nothing over here. What if I go back? Was there anything I missed? There's only one red door. I don't think there's a yellow key here. But maybe there's a secret? No. Maybe... Something did break. I'm gonna check out this area again. What if I go over here? And take a red suit? Maybe take a teleporter? Probably brings me back here, yeah. What about this one? Also? Yeah. No, I really need a yellow key. Oh, I might as well kill the revenants. Kill the revenants. There's another blocking corpse over there. I do think this was tested with Jizadun, but I could be wrong. Because if that's the case, uh, maybe switching the comp level to boom will fix stuff. Maybe. But I need a yellow key for sure to go for there. Right? Yeah. And there's no yellow key here. Um. I think I'm running out of options. I'll check here one more time. But I don't think there's anything here. Um, no, I, I have no idea. Maybe here? No, oh, no key here. Okay, what I'm gonna do... I am gonna open Doom Bowler real quick. And see if there's any, like, boom specials or anything. Or maybe things stuck inside ceilings or walls. And that causes... Like, stuff to not lower. Or actually, no, let's just do... Um, TNT comp 9. Can I do that? TNT comp 9? No? TNT comp 9. Or is it 0, 9 maybe? TNT... TNT comp 0, 9. There we go. Okay, now you're using boom. Maybe now something does lower, that is supposed to lower. So far, nothing. Maybe it's just something I'm missing. Uh, let's go back to TNT com 2 Is there really no yellow key here? I grabbed the red key here, right? But I explored this already. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go check Doom Bowler real quick. I'll try not, not to peek at the map, just the relevant sections, but I'll be right back. 
Okay, never mind. Massive skill issue. I'm just really, really, really blind. My apologies. I... I... I'm just... Embarrassed. There it is. There's the yellow key. <laughs> that was... Yeah, okay. That's... Pretty hard to find, I think. But never mind. The map is not broken. Sorry for thinking it was. But that yellow key was quite hidden for me. Okay, so... We can make progress now. Open up this door. Apologies, apologies. Sometimes I can really find the most obscure things and secrets, and sometimes I have trouble finding a yellow key like that. Okay, this platform is red, this one is white, I wonder why. Anything secret about it? Oh, I do see a secret sector. And I'm raising the bridge, very cool. I do hear a lift lower when I walk here. Yeah, there we go. It's not a secret. I cannot get soft locked in there, so that's good design. Alright, so... Still no rocket launcher. I... Do I... Well, I guess I can just SSG them, but... Maybe I should lure them over here. Come on, there's something here. There's secrets, I know it. Can they enter in here? No, they cannot, so I can kill the Kekos from here. Yeah, the yellow key was evil, but at least it was not a TNT map 31 yellow key. When I saw it in Doom World, I thought, uh-oh, is it tagged like for the wrong difficulties or maybe multiplayer only? But no, it's tagged in all three difficulties, so that was not it. I just had a massive, massive, massive eye issue. Okay, but for real, give me, give me that secret. Where is it? Maybe it's a suitable switch or something. Let's see. What's in there? I know there's a secret there. And there's also a tunnel leading to the room where I pressed the switch. Let's see. Anything shootable? No. Nothing over there. Maybe... Maybe this lift when I interact with this at lowers or something? No. That is definitely something over there, see? But I don't know how to get there. At least not yet. Probably something shootable. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go... Let's go find the exit. And then we'll go secret hunting. So... Up we go. Through the blue door. This could be the exit, because the blue door leads to nowhere. Leads to a... Ah! It leads to another portion of the map, you see? Like this, not enough space for an entire new section, unless it's a teleporter. But something tells me that's not the case. Let's not fall off. Exit? Yeah, very likely the exit. Let me see, and that is not the exit. Oh. Difficulty spike. Oh, that's cool, the map opens up like that. Cool. I have no shells though. Which is kind of sucky. That's a chain gun. Oh, wait. No. Oh, crap. Not good. Not good. 
Don't tell me I'm gonna die here. That'd be a bit embarrassing. Well, if the actual kids are directing the zombies, I get ammo. Whoa, difficulty spike. Right at the end, to screw you over. You wanna finish the map? Don't think so. Okay, now this is the exit for real. Let's check the stats. Whoa, I'm missing four secrets. I know where one is, for sure. But the other... Three? No idea. Um, let's use IDDST. Okay, there's something over there. Let's go check out this secret first. Something tells me those steps lead to somewhere. But the last step is too... too high up. Unless you can lower it. No, you can't. Yeah, there's something here for sure. Maybe you can lower the steps somehow? Okay, let's check another one. IDDST. Um, where is that? Same room. Oh, it's up there. How did I get there? There's a door up there, but... I, again, have no idea how to get there. Maybe we can shoot it with a... With hit scan? No. Um, and then the last secret, I know where it is. It's that one, but I don't know how to get there. So I don't think I can find any of these secrets. I may have to use... Um, well, let's start with IDT, like this. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually... Okay. I could have found this one myself. This wall texture is different. Oh, a keen. A computer error map. Okay, cool. So I don't need the IDT anymore. Berserk. Oh, here's the plasma. I could have used that. And then Keen. Curious what Keen opens up. Maybe that door I saw? Like this one? No. I, okay, I see something. I see something on the other map. There's something... Yeah, again, this looks like a secret I could have found. But there's something... Up here. Uh-huh. And does this raise a bridge to the other secrets? Or does it open up... A wall? No, I think it raises a bridge. Again, I could have found that. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. So, what exactly did it do? Oh, a ledge. Interesting. Look at that. Light goggles. Mega armor. Oh, delicious. Still no rocket launcher, though. Okay, and the final secret. No, wait, there's two more. There's two more secrets. Oh, I see another one. One at the start of the map. Yep, at the start. Again, that could have been a secret I probably could have found after humping walls for like 10 minutes, but. Time is limited, and it's not always exciting to watch. And of course, I'm gonna get comments. No, anything you do is exciting. Okay, this one is a bit obscure, I think. Slightly misaligned, I think. Like the top has no dark pixels, unlike the other walls. See? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could have found this. I mean, it's just a chain gun. I don't think it would have helped or mattered that much. Now for that last secret. The Snorlax secret. 
as uh, as Martin called it. Apparently there's a ledge that, that can be raised here. It appears on the other map at least. But um I have no idea what to start. Maybe a bookcase secrets? Set your eye secrets. Yeah, there's a there's a ledge here. It's on the other map, see? Something's supposed to raise here. And I killed a king. But why was there a king? What did king open up? I don't see any other um, areas I haven't explored yet. I do see like a line on the backpack. Oh, maybe this skull here is a switch. Maybe. Let's find out. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I had to use IDDST, IDDT, but I'm glad that I didn't have to resort to um, using Doom, Doom Boulder. Because it always feels a bit lame if I if I have to use Doom Boulder to find the secrets. Hey, there's Snorlax and the rocket launcher. Oh, finally! Look, Snorlax. Snorlax was mentioned in the submission description, so I knew there was a Snorlax in the map. And of course I saw Snorlax on the uh, auto map, after grabbing the computer area map. Anyway, we are done. Pretty small map, but it still took me 30 minutes to beat. And that's exactly what Martin said in the description. Expect the map to take between 20 and 30 minutes to beat. And uh, you were... well, you were right. Okay, I'll be honest, my first impression when I saw the first area was, okay, this map is made by either a newbie or amateur or, I don't know, someone who really likes the 90s watts. But the moment I stepped onto the lift, to the underground section, it got quite spicy and I really, really liked the progression. Maybe the yellow key not so much, because it was, honestly, it was pretty obscure. You, you cannot deny that. Again, may have been skill issue, but... I think I'm in the right here. This, the yellow key was just completely hidden. But other than the yellow key, progression was good. A bit of variety in the areas you visit. I like that. Secrets were actually really good. I, I did terrible today with secrets. But in hindsight, I probably could have found them all if I looked a bit longer. But again, when playing blind, you really don't know how long um, that's going to take. So I just resort to um, the extended HUD and IDDST or IDDT when I reach the exit. Hope you don't mind, but I don't want to don't wanna hump walls for 20 minutes, you know? But uh, yeah, the secrets were, may sound weird, probably the best part of the map. Like, they were really well done. And I really liked also the uh, final fight with the, the blue switch. That you revisit an area where you already fought enemies. Like the, uh, the E2M7 kind of uh, area. And the freaking Archer, man, man, without the secret weapons, that's a pretty rough fight. And in a way, a map is designed well when you can beat the map without finding any secrets whatsoever. And in this case, well, most of the secrets that I missed had huge advantages, like there was a mega armor, a supercharge, uh, a secret only rocket launcher and plasma rifle. That's pretty uh, risky to do. Uh, ammo balance seemed a bit tight without those secrets, but uh, I managed, I'm okay. So I give this map a thumbs up, nicely done, and yeah, check it out. It's uh, available in the description, so thank you Martin, thank you for the submission. I'll see you guys in submission number 7, have a good day, see you next time.